So let's talk about the five factors that impact real estate, okay? So number one is gonna be job growth. Job growth meaning, are there more jobs coming? Um, are employment, unemployment rates going up? Are employment rates staying strong where they are? And let's get into number two. Number two is gonna be interest rates. So with interest rates, we saw when the interest rates were really low, there was so many people were buying, buyer confidence was up so much. And as interest rates started to come up, buyer confidence started to go down, prices started to go down, and that's how interest rates kind of affect things. The third one is gonna be population growth. Now, when it comes to population growth, the government of Canada has said that they're gonna be allowing 500,000 new immigrants into Canada over the next five years. So we know that the population is gonna be growing and all of these people that are gonna be coming here need places to live. And honestly, the speed that we're building houses can't keep up with the amount of people that are gonna be coming. Number five is actually supply and demand. So let's jump to that and skip number four. So supply and demand. If there's so many people that need homes and there's not enough homes to go around, then the price is going to go up. Whereas if you go to a place, certain cities where there's not a lot of people and there's more homes that are available, prices are gonna be lower there. And most likely going back to what we talked about before, they're gonna have less jobs there as well. Now, number four, I know I was out of order. Number four is gonna be economic indicators like GDP, what's going on with inflation. So there are two of those are kind of the biggest ones. So number one is gonna be uh, job growth and number two is gonna be population growth. So in terms of job growth, if you know there's you're investing somewhere, where jobs are growing and 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 the, the the work rate is growing, you're good to go. And if the population is going to be growing and jobs are going to be growing, this is a great place to invest because homes are going to appreciate. So, what do you think are the most important uh, indicators when it does come to real estate?